Hi, here we have, uh, I have a total of 1000 rupees and there are four, uh, 5 types of items that I have. A which costs 110 per item, B costs 90 per item, C costs 70, D costs 40 per item and E it costs rupees 45 per item. Okay, so now it's given that uh, you there are certain conditions given to uh, sort of uh, purchase any of these items and after that for each item that I purchase I earn 1000 points and for each rupee that I don't spend I get a penalty of 1500 rupees. So my objective is to maximize the number of points that I earn. So how do I maximize the points I earn? There are two ways of doing this. First is to maximize the number of items that I purchase. And next is to minimize the number of rupees not spent. Number of rupees not spent, I have to minimize this. So I will try to buy as many items as possible for the whole thousand rupees. Now how do I buy maximum items for thousand rupees? This is possible when the price per item is the least. So now price per item is the least for which of these articles? Let's see. Now it's given that for every item D that I purchase, I must also buy two item of B. So let's see. So if I purchase one D, it means I must purchase two Bs as well. Fine. For every item A that I purchase, I must buy one of C as well. So one A implies one C as well. Now for every item E that I purchase, I must buy two D and one B. So if I purchase one E, I must buy 2D and 1B as well. Now for D, it's given that for every item D, D that I purchase, I must buy 2Bs as well. So if, I, if I'm purchasing 2Ds, I must buy 4Bs as well. So if I buy 1E, effectively I will be buying 1E plus 2D plus 5B. Okay? So these are the three conditions given. Uh, if I buy 1B, let's say, there is no condition, so I can buy only 1B, there is no need to purchase any other article with it. And if I buy only 1C, there is no condition for C, so I can buy only 1C as well. So let's calculate the price per item here. So 1D costs 40 and 2B cost 180. So 180 plus 40 is 220. So the total cost is 220 but for 3 articles. So per article cost per article or per item. Here is 220 by 3, which is approximately 73.33. Here if you buy 1A and 1C, so you'll have 110 plus 70. 180 total cost for two articles, hence 90 rupees per article. Here you have 1E, which costs 45. 2D will cost 80. And 5B, 5B will cost 450. So 450 plus 125 is 575. For how many articles? 5, 7, 8 articles. So this becomes 8 sevens are 56, approximately 72, approximately. Right? Next is article B. B costs only 90 rupees and uh, C costs uh, only 70 rupees. Right? So now, if you look at all these values, the least price is for article C, right? So I will try to buy maximum number of items which are C. So 1000 divided by 70 is approximately 13. 13 point something, but point articles you cannot buy. So you'll buy 13 Cs. So 13 C's, the cost of 13 C's will be 13 into 7, which is 910 rupees. So I still have 90 rupees. If I don't spend that 90 rupees, I will earn a penalty of 1500 per rupee. So I cannot do that. So the remaining 90 rupees, how can you spend remaining 90 rupees? Either you can buy 1A and 1C, uh, sorry, you cannot buy 1A and 1C. The, either you'll have to spend 220, although article per price is this but if you, if you buy let's say 1d you'll have to buy 2b as well so you'll have to spend 220 you have only 90 rupees left here you have to spend 180 here you have to spend 575 here you have to spend 90 and 70 
So if you have to spend 90, either you can buy B or C. If you buy C, you will still have 20 rupees remaining and that will incur a penalty. So don't do that. Best way is to buy 1B. So effectively, you buy 13 Cs and you buy 1B. So you buy a total of 14 articles or 14 items and you spend the full 1000 rupees such that you don't earn any penalty. So the maximum points, uh, so to maximize the number of points, the number of articles that I must purchase is 14. Option B is the right answer here. Thank you.